Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with Conservative Trades. Hope everybody's doing all right today, and I certainly hope you're doing a lot better than me. Today ends my green streak. I had uh, closed out Friday. That was my eighth consecutive green day, and uh, what a horrible start to a brand new week, and what a horrible close out to that 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 green streak. So any anyway, we're ending the day down five hundred and seventeen dollars. Obviously, a little bit more than that after fees and commissions. Um, thankfully, not too much more than that. And thankfully, I was able to capture one last trade on the day here on NVAX, uh, right here around three o'clock. And you know, they say you're only as good as your last trade, right? Um, and so I love I love being able to, even if I'm down on the day, and, and I was down, I was actually down uh, closer to 570 something. So you can see here, I made 56 bucks on NVAX and that brought me down closer to uh, the $500 mark. But um, you know, even though even though it was a rough day for me today, um, when I saw my move, when I saw my setup come in, and I was patient with it, and I took it, and I averaged in uh, the way that I wanted to, and everything, and caught that move down here, um, and, and I'm even glad with how I how I played this move. You can see I nailed the bottom. I nailed the bottom. I noticed it was just pausing there, didn't look good, and it had already kind of been a chop fest uh, through here. And of course, we were in a um, point of consolidation. This was just to show you. This was kind of that that pullback strategy that that I been trading and we you can see we had some really nice candles running up through here and um averaged in all the way up here was expecting to get a good flush back down but it started consolidating and it was pretty whippy right and uh so that nine ema started coming back up and i always say like when that starts to happen um you're always risking another solid leg up so i went ahead and got out there um, with this 56 dollar profit but i feel good about it I, I i do i feel good about it and um you know, I feel good about even some of these other trades, even though they didn't turn out too well today. ZM, I, I believe it or not, I feel good about that. And, and believe it or not, I was actually up like almost $90 on that stock at one point. Um, but uh, it just, it, it chopped me out. It chopped me out. And, and today was just one of those days where um, admittedly, you know, I, I kind of pulled some rookie mistakes. Okay. I'll, I'll just tell you right out the gate. You know, first of all, um, I had a bias, a short bias coming into the market. And I really try not to do that. I mean, I really don't. Now, yes, I'm a short bias trader. Yes. 99% of the trades I take are to the short side. Um, but that doesn't always mean that I'm looking at the overall markets with a short bias. Okay, there's a difference there. As a matter of fact, um, what I really like to look for are, are days where the markets are overall kind of bullish and, and they just kind of go on a nice big tear and then, you know, they they, they hit their, their, when they start hitting certain levels of resistance, I can look for other stocks that have kind of been going on a tear with them and, and make sure they are also hitting certain points of resistance. And that is a is a perfect way for me to jump jump in with um, a counter trend trade. It's a, it's a great, the, you know, the, there's a lot of great shorting opportunities when we have um, bullish market conditions, okay? But today I had already kind of made up my mind that, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> you know, I probably said in the live stream, I, you know, because this is, this is just me. Okay. This is just me. Look, we've all got our own little quirks and habits and, and you know how you think. I know how I think this is, you know, this is kind of getting the self-reflecting, uh, part of the, the, the whole trader psychology here. I, it's very possible that I even said out loud that, you know, um, we don't, we don't know what the markets could do today. They're in a point of consolidation, but I am telling you, I still had a, I still had a, a, a bias. I, I still thought that, we were going to maybe go through one more day of consolidation and test some lows. Okay. So I didn't think what happened today was actually going to happen. And you can see here, look, look on the, on the uh, QQQs, I mean, massive green bar, um, and spy, you know, I knew this was a possibility for it to kind of come all the way back up and, and break through this, uh, key level at 32341. But I just didn't, I just didn't really believe that today was going to be the day. Um, and so, you know, that's a mistake. That's mistake number one, um, because what that'll keep you doing as a short bias trader is it will keep you in some of these counter trend trades that are that still have enough juice to go up, um, and and you kind of get a little bit you kind of get a little bit stubborn with them, and so AMD was kind of that one for me today, and this was this was the biggest obviously this is you can see look ZM I'm fine with I managed it well Neo I'm fine with that actually could have been much much better I was really trying to be patient with that one um, I had multiple opportunities to make much more money on that one right there but um, so I'm not 
I'm, I guess I'm still kind of, I guess I'm still proud with how I handled that because I, I would do the same thing if I had it to do all over. I mean, but, you know, one of the parts about trading is you have to let your winners run. And I really felt, I genuinely felt like with the position that, that I had built on NEO that I could get a much better run. I really did. I really thought that I could get that better run. And I thought that I could, you know, make this closer to, you know, an 80 to hundred dollar win, but I just didn't. Okay. And it, and it pulled back it, but you know, I managed it and I got out. So, you know, I'm proud of, I'm proud of how I handled it. And then, of course, NVAX, I already showed you this one, but um, AMD, I tell you what, this this one, this one got me today. It got me today. And um, I wasn't necessarily trading the pullback strategy, but I was trying to counter trend trade, but I was doing it in a strong market. And I'll tell you what, AMD is not a good stock to be doing that with, with unless you can take considerable considerable position size on that those counter trends like if you can point out key areas where there's going to be pullbacks you know you have to jump in with like a thousand shares you got to jump in with a thousand shares and when you get that 15 20 cent pullback you take that quick 150 200 dollars and then you know and then you wait for the next opportunity but with amd admittedly i was i was adding into my position slowly as it was going up and i just shouldn't have been doing that um, but good Lord, I tell you what guys, AMD is like, you know, when, when I'm on it, I'm on it. You know, I can do well with it sometimes. I can do really well with AMD sometimes. And it's like the gift that just keeps on giving, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, when it's, when it's not in my favor, it's, it's like the, it's like the thief that just keeps on taking. Right. Um, and that's, that's kind of what happened to me today on AMD. So, um, now admittedly, I will say a little here in my defense, I thought I had more room to add. I thought I had more buying power to continue adding with, you know, and yes, I'm not a big fan of maximizing buying power but and you know honestly it's probably a good thing that I didn't get to continue adding buying power but I'll tell you what there was a point today where I tried to add and I can't remember if it was here or here but you can see we, we did get a pullback here and we did get a, a little bit of a pullback here and so uh, here's the thing I do remember that there was a, a, a spot where I tried to add and I literally realized that it wasn't gonna let me I, I was I was not going to get any more ads and you can see we were overextended. I'm, I'm guessing it was probably up here. I'm guessing it had to be somewhere up here, um, but I couldn't get the ad. And so, you know, when it came back, I, I was, you know, I was not able to profit. And by the way, this was another ad from way back here. So I had. Um, yeah, let me see here. Let me just let me make sure I'm giving you guys the right story. OK, let's see here. Um, you know, I'd have to go back I'd have to really go back because obviously I shorted here shorted here had a little bit of profit yeah I did have a little bit of profit on AMD at one point came up I shorted here and then here um, and then it started squeezing up here and then yeah I may have tried to add here because I think I had brought my average up to maybe here or maybe let's see 5540 and then with this move I might have brought it up to like 55 yeah 5540 or something like that and then I think I tried to add again to bring it up to 55 60. So yeah, I basically, so here's what would have happened. That's, I think that's right. If I had gotten this ad, when this came back to here, I would have gotten out, it would, it would have been a loss, but it would not have been the big loss that I ended up having to take. Okay. And, and so I ended up taking like a $220 loss, but this really just would have been like maybe a 60 to $80 loss and that would have been controlled. So, you know, in my defense, like I said, I mean, we had a big run up on the two minute in my defense. I mean, this, this actually worked, this pullback worked. It came all, all the way back almost to the nine EMA. Um, and you know, but so again, to my credit, now it still would have been a loss, but you know, the thing is, is it wouldn't have been such a heavy loss and I probably would not have even messed with AMD anymore today. But you can see here, I came back in and I was really at this point just trying to revenge trade. I saw this consolidation here and um, you know, here's the thing, several days last week, AMD was in this choppy mode. Like it would, it would look like it's getting sell, sold off. Then it would look like it's getting bought up and then it would look like it's getting sold off. And then it looked like it was getting bought up and it would go in and out and over and under under VWAP multiple times throughout the days. And today, honestly, again, just because I didn't think that the market was going to, you know, do this. <laughs> I mean, look at this, look at this run up. Okay. And, and because I didn't think the market was going to do that, I really was committed to this idea that AMD was probably going to be in a chop fest today. And, and so when we started getting this move here, I thought, okay, surely this is going to roll over and we're going to get a return back to VWAP. I mean, it's been doing it consistently like this for the last several days of trading. Um, but it just, it didn't guys. It just continued to go. It did pull back a little here, but then just ramped right back up, you know, kind of pulled back a little here. And, you know, I kind of wish I'd been a little more patient through here. You know, I did salvage back a little bit of, of my money here, but 
this just this just wasn't a good day for me guys i mean point blank this was not a good day for me and this is not a stock that i should have continued try, trying to counter trend trade okay and so again um you know it's just it's very unfortunate that that it turned out like this look at nvax this is ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous you saw that alert go off i had set an alert here because i thought to myself you know um if this does come up um you know it'd be interesting to to get in uh, on on some of this but obviously we're in post market now and so I'm not going to trade it but wow look at the wicks on this this is incredible this is absolutely incredible and I don't know how much of this is a, is a misprint but anyway leaving that one alone um, but uh, but I am happy about this move right here on NVAX and uh, you know yeah I'm, ha I'm having to take a, a significant loss today but you know what guys I mean two two three days I'll be back I'll be back to black and we'll continue moving forward. So it wasn't that de devastating of a day. It wasn't that devastating of a loss. But you know what I hate about it? I hate that I have had such, you know, wonderful momentum. Yes, only only uh, three red days in the last four weeks of trading, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm pretty sure I've only had three red days and they weren't really even that big. Uh, maybe one of them was maybe a little bigger, maybe like a $400 red day, but um, the, the red days have been light. The green days have been, you know, pretty decent, 150 to 250 on on average. And, you know, to, to have a red day where, you know, you're, you're, you're down over 500 bucks. I mean, that, you know, it sucks. It sucks, you know, it's, you know, because you're sitting here thinking like, you know, I should, I should, you know, if I'm going to have a red day like this, I should be at least having a green day like this where, where I'm ending, uh, you know, over 500 bucks. But, um, the key to trading, as we all know, is just controlling our risk. You know, it's controlling, controlling our risk, managing it well. Um, if you can win more times than lose, if you can be right more times than not, even if your profit loss ratio is not that great, you know, if you can have a pretty good win rate, you should you should still do pretty good okay and so that's kind of what i'm experiencing here i mean the 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 losing day is 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 worth two maybe even sometimes three of my winning days right um, i mean it could be wednesday or thursday before i get back to black here but still yet you know when you're having consistently you know five six seven eight consistent uh green days um you're still going to be you're still going to be in the winter seat in the long run so um Right now, for me, it's just, you know, today today was just one of those days, honestly, it's just one of those days where I had too much of a bias, um, making too many rookie mistakes here, and um, just, you know, having having too many hopeful and unrealistic expectations, and not really trading what the sh charts were showing me, but more trading just what I really wanted to see happen. Um, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much what happened today. So um, I'm going to take it as a lesson. It is a lesson learned. And we're going to come back here tomorrow, and I'm just going to kind of ease off the throttle, and we're, we're just going to start packing on uh, some more of these small green days and just see if we can uh, get back to black this week and then end, end the week out on a really good note. Last week was a great week. I think I was somewhere around, I don't know, $1,100, uh, maybe 800 bucks after fees and commissions on the week. And so, um, you know, it's not like we gave all that back. I mean, you know, again, um, I'm pretty confident that the rest of this week can, can be a good week. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, to, to my regulars, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful evening and uh, we'll see you then. Take care.